What if I told you that what you have considered your health's greatest enemy could actually be your greatest ally, especially if you lead to an active life? I'm talking about salt. Yes, that very substance dubbed white's death. Today we are uh, busting the biggest myth and revealing when salt saves and when it truly harms. We're, we're used to hearing it. It's uh, salt causes high blood pressure, edema, heart problems, and for some, and for someone who sits at desk and all day eating processed foods, it's often true. But everything changed with the first drops of sweat. If you train, run, or work physically, your body is crying out for salt and you are denying it. The authoritative American College of Sports Medicine gives a clear recommendation. During exercise lasting over two hours, you need up to 300 milligrams of sodium per hour. With sweat, we lose not just water, but vital electrolytes. And first and furthermore and foremost, sodium. The thing is, salt is a key player. It retains fluid in the vessels, enables muscle contraction and transmits nerve impulses. Without it, the heart and muscles and nerves simply cannot work at as full and correct capacity. And uh, Rookie's most uh, Rookie's most dangerous mistake is drinking liters of plain water during a workout during an already low diluting sorry diluting an already low sodium level level. This is direct direct path to hyponatremia, so called water intoxication, which can lead to dizziness, nausea, and severe cases brain swelling. So, but don't rush to grab the first salt shaker. The difference between types of salt is colossal. Extra refined table salt is an aggressively processed product, stripped of natural minerals but often containing anti-caking agents. It places the maximum load on your blood vessels. Its alternative is natural rock, sea, pink, amaline salt, or mineral Armenian salt. They contain slightly less pure sodium, but have beneficial traces of magnesium, potassium, and calcium, and their flavor is softer and deeper, and very healthy. So, thus, for a person with a sedentary lifestyle, excess salt is a real threat. But if you are physically active, especially in endurance sports, salt is not your enemy. It's a strategic resource, your protection and your ally. Seasoning your healthy meal before a long physical challenge, especially if you're prone to have a switching like your servant, is not foolishness. It's a smart strategy. An electrolyte drink, electrolyte drink for those who lose salts through swear. So sweat is not a luxury, it's a necessity. The only thing you should truly fear is the deficiency that cannot stop your heart. Get it?